Hello everyone and welcome. In this lecture, we look at classification of machine learning. In general, a machine learning problem can be assigned to one of the two broad classifications. And they are supervised learning and unsupervised learning. Let's start by looking at what a supervised learning is. In supervised learning, we have data with a set of features and our goal is to predict where the object will fall given the set of features. We are given a data set and we already know what our correct output should look like, having the idea that there's a re relationship between the input and the output. Let's see some examples of supervised learning. One is predicting car price. We all know that the value or price of a car depends on certain features like mileage, consumption of diesel, model of the car, year of the car, condition of the car, and so on. So these are features, and we try to predict price based on these features. Generally, a car that has a higher mileage tends to be cheaper compared to a car with low mileage. And car price depends on the model of the car, year of the car, usually Cars made in recent years tend to be more expensive than cars made in previous years. So those are all the features that will help us predict the price of a car. So price in this case is called what is known as a target. We try to predict the target based on these features. Another example of supervised learning is predicting house price. And a house price depends on features like number of bedrooms, square feet living, lot size, location of the house, whether the, cow, the house has a basement or not, number of bathrooms, and so on. So in this example, house price is the target, and we try to predict house price based on features like number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, square feet living, lot size, presence or absence of a basement, location of the house, and so on. Regression and classification are some methods used by supervised learning to predict values of our data. Let's see regression and classification. The following are examples of regression. Predicting score on a test, determining lack likelihood of a drug's effectiveness for a patient, and predicting amount of rain. Some examples of classification, classifying tumor as benign or malignant, predicting if it will rain tomorrow or not, determining if a loan application is high risk, medium risk, or low risk, and identifying sentiment as positive or negative. We'll see classification and regression in detail, but I just wanted to give you some examples in regression and classification. And regression and classification, as I mentioned, are methods used by supervised learning. Now let's go to unsupervised learning. In unsupervised learning, there is no learning of data features. We will be discovering data features given the data. That way we can find similarities between objects of interest. In unsupervised learning, we approach problems with little or no idea what our results should look like. Here, data is presented and the algorithm analyzes and comes up with similarities by clustering together similar data features. And by analyzing the data, unsupervised learning tries to find out some structure of the presented data. K-means clustering and nearest neighbors are some of the techniques used in unsupervised learning. Let's see some examples of unsupervised learning. Identifying areas, areas of similar topography, like desert, grass, forest, and so on. Determining different groups of weather patterns. Discovering crime hotspots. Recommending items based on purchasing history. So those are all unsupervised learning. Now let's look at the machine learning process. So these are some of the techniques that we apply in any machine learning algorithm. 
the first step or process is acquiring or obtaining our data. And once we obtain our data, we explore and process our data. This will involve understanding our data set. We try to see if there is any trend or correlation in our data. We see if there is any visible outliers by visualizing our data set. Those are all techniques in exploring and processing our data. After that, we have data cleaning. In data cleaning, we see if there are any missing values or any duplicates. If that's the case, we remove those missing values or duplicates. And the next technique is feature selection and selecting techniques. So once we learn and process our data, we deploy what features to study to analyze our data. For instance, in the previous example, we mentioned that predicting a house price depends on features like number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, area where the house is located, square foot of the living space, and so on. So once we identify those features, we select techniques and we build our machine learning models. Once we build our model, the next step is evaluation. We evaluate our model and we see how our model does on some data sets that it hasn't seen before. This is how we will approach the machine learning sections. We will start by looking at the theory of the machine learning class and I'll provide links if you are interested in more of the math theories. We won't look into detail about the math of each of the algorithms, but I'll provide links so that you can go and learn more about the math theories behind if you are interested. Then we will use various data analysis techniques for obtaining data, formatting, formatting and cleaning data, model training, building and testing our model. And finally, we will evaluate our model. We will look at many and many projects on machine learning. So we'll approach machine learning in this format. First, we'll look at the theory and I'll provide links where you can check out the math behind if you are interested. And then we'll deploy various techniques for data analysis, formatting and cleaning, model building, and then testing our models. So far, we have seen various machine learning techniques like regression, classification, clustering, and so on. So how do we choose a machine learning model? This is the scikit-learn algorithm cheat sheet. It's located at this URL. So let me go to this URL and show you the machine learning algorithm cheat sheet. Okay, here we are at the scikit-learn algorithm cheat sheet. So you can check it out, test certain techniques, so you start here, follow the arrows. Is your samples greater than 50? If no, if yes, follow this direction. Here you see some classification methods, some clustering techniques here. We have regression and dimensionality reduction. So this is a nice algorithm cheat sheet. You can check it out. Just wanted to show you that. Again, check out the documentation that scikit-learn has. It has various examples. It serves as a good resource on any of the techniques. You can read more about what we will learn in the scikit-learn documentation. Just to recap what we have learned in this lecture, we looked at the two classifications of machine learning, which are supervised learning and unsupervised learning. And in supervised learning, we are given data with certain features and we try to predict where the object will fall given those features. And some examples of supervised learning are predicting a house price, predicting price of a car and so on. And we deploy techniques like regression and classification in supervised learning. Whereas in unsupervised learning, there is no learning of data features. Data is presented and the algorithm analyzes and comes up with similarities by clustering together similar data features. We mentioned that k-means clustering and nearest neighbors are some methods used in unsupervised learning. And we looked at some examples of unsupervised learning, like discovering crime hotspots and recommendation systems. And we briefly looked at machine learning process. We start by acquiring or obtaining our data. 
then we explore and process our data to see if there is any trend or correlation, whether there are any visible outliers or not. And visualizing your data set helps a lot in the exploration process. Then we have data cleaning where we remove any missing values or any duplicates. And then we determine and select our features. After that, we build a model based on those features and we evaluate our models. Thank you everyone. And in the next lecture, we look at linear regression.